So this is the now our last room that we are to visit. Yeah. And uh, so let's see what is offered here now. This is also the next surprise. Amazing. Wow, wow, wow. So tell me, my sister, what is offered here now again? So here, um, here I normally do peelings. Peelings? Peelings, yeah. The ones for the whole body? For the whole body, full body peeling. So wow. I do it here uh -huh. instead of up. So okay. after the peeling, they just go and uh, shower. Ah, you also have somewhere they yeah, can take so shower they can here? Take a shower wow. after the peeling. Wow, wow, this is where yeah. they take shower. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. And do you have clients for this peeling. holy body peeling? Yeah, and to my surprise, most of the clients who are doing body peeling are men. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Do that, but well, ladies, <laughs> you've heard. These people are overtaking us and you, you're sitting there thinking now, this is me now, I don't need to give uh, myself these things, my dear. Men are taking care of them. I also, somebody yeah. else told Legs me Legs and... Uh, Men and women are doing it, yeah. Um, but I most of them are, mm -hmm. are men. I'm I went to uh, last year for my visit in Kenya, and yeah. I visited one of the salon uh, that I used to visit in Kenya, and I found that they've created a whole, you know, special space for men. Mm -hmm. Men are taking these things, you know, they go for the massage, and you know, Kenya, they are even exaggerated. They are taken care of uh, with other girls that I don't want to say. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> So when I hear that men are the most that are coming here to peeling, I want to tell our ladies, do the running, yeah? yeah? Give And this is where I say, this is where you do the mid time. Some of these things, don't wait for your husband to tell you, go do this, go do this. Create time for yourself. Jilipe, after what end month, come, yes, do something for yourself at least. Don't wait somebody. I told you people in my last time video, don't sit there and wait for somebody to appreciate you. The best thing you can do for yourself is appreciate yourself first so that somebody else can see what you're doing with yourself and they'll come and try to top it up. So, akikulete kwa masaju ko, next time you'll be here peeling the whole body, my dear ones. Hey! <laughs> what are you people waiting for? And I love again your cleanliness. Me, um, uh, let me say about this cleanliness because um, we've had a lot of business for African people. Yeah. And people need to see where is our weaknesses. You created a lot of space here, you know, mm -hmm. because there is one person who would even think, let me do this, but you don't think of, you know, doing it better. I always try and say, even if we have five salons, yeah. you feel that you want to do a sixth one, open it, but top it up than yeah. the rest. Because competition will always be there. There is no copycat. I always say, yeah. if there would be a hundred Tantewake no, coming to interview all of these people in Germany doing great things, what am I to lose? I'm not going to lose them. At the end of it, we are offering what you people to our people there. And mostly we want this wind to go that we are doing great things. 
and when I come and see so so spacious then mm. my heart melts for our African sure. people that's how I can know I kind of came okay no very happy and now let's go sit 10 minutes with this girl she tells us what really brought her to doing this an amazing job I'm very sure you've been delighted you've enjoyed the trip as I have nice thing to be offered here please visit her in the Koblenz I will pin the address there so that you can talk and the rest of the information she's giving us in the 10 minutes interview that she's going to sit down with us so come we will make sure that she tells us exactly what inspired her to do this because she's doing an amazing job wow my sister what do I say thank you thank you so much for the amazing time we've had with you and maybe let me take this chance to give you my audience you tell what is your name maybe somebody who know you from kenya maybe she didn't know you the way you are maybe she was your classmate and she's here and all that so uh, so that uh, people may know exactly when we talk of nyak masai Kalisa. where is she from and uh, just a small introduction about yourself okay me i'm called Enid Akinyi and Nyar Masai is a name I was given since I was a little girl mm -hmm. because I used to be slender mm -hmm. and tall mm -hmm. and that those days when people used to call me Nyar Masai especially my cousins my mm. auntie my sister I used to cry you know mm -hmm. I used to cry jump and roll because I didn't like the name and mm. I was not a Masai you know? mm -hmm. But you see how life is today in Yalmasa is my business. It's, it is your business and, and it, is, it is a name yeah. that is selling. And it is my baby. Yeah, thank you so much. So uh, Nyalmasa, maybe uh, I would want uh, to t say this. Uh, when I was in, uh, in, uh, in internet looking yeah. for uh, Kenyans entrepreneur and I landed in your page, let me say it was amazing just to see it there. And it was even more amazing to see what I found on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yani ground iko same vile uko iko. Yeah, you know there are pictures ingine tunaekewa uko ukifika in a choma. But let me say this was amazing. Oh, so you. how did this passion uh, come to grow? Or how did you start the massage thing? It's a thing? long story. Mm -hmm. uh, I never thought I would be a massage therapist. It mm -hmm. was never my dream. yeah. Mm -hmm. But in 2016 something happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost my baby. Oh, okay, sorry and for I that. And I was in depression for two, two good years. Oh, sorry and for that. And during this time when I had depression, I was forced to go for a, um, how do I call it? How do we call this? The kua. Uh, kua mm -hmm. and uh, for therapy. Okay. So mm -hmm. they called me and they told me I have to go for therapy for six weeks. Mm. And I said, oh my God, these people want me to go for six weeks. Me, I only want to go for four weeks. I mm. don't want six weeks. And mm -hmm. they told me, you can either go for six weeks mm -hmm. or eight weeks, not mm. less. Not less. So I said, okay, let me just go for these six weeks. Mm. So when I was there, mm. I used to go to this Anwendungen, you know. Mm -hmm. You go for these talks and after that you go for massage. And during this time when I was going for massage, mm -hmm. I used to feel so good Wow. to forget everything. Exactly. Sometimes I used... I know people will laugh and I don't know, mm -hmm. but sometimes I used to sleep, mm -hmm. sometimes dream, and that was the only time when I used to forget everything. everything. Mm -hmm. I was just in a different world. So yeah. I used to ask the ladies how they are doing it, if they learned and all that thing. And the lady told me, yeah, I'm doing this for 10 years, mm -hmm. but you have to learn so that you don't work with the strength of your fingers You've, and all that. Exactly. You have to work with your body. Wow. The strength, because if you, if you massage and you're only using the strength from your hands, mm -hmm. You ponda, can't, ponda yeah, you, you want you maybe massage only one person or two, mm. but if you know how to use the strength using your body, how you move and mm. how you put the pressure, mm. then you can work for a long time. And she told and me she's I think, been doing uh, it, it is, for ten years. Mm -hmm. So after that, I came back to my normal job and I realized I was in the wrong place. Mm. So I got myself in a college, mm. um, massage uh, Paracelsus, mm -hmm. the health practical school. Okay. I enrolled there, did my course for one year, mm -hmm. for one year, and after that I quit my job. I just resigned, and, and started. this was born. Wow! I always say uh, sometimes when God wants to bring us from one stage to the other, sometimes yeah. He brings us storms in our very true in in our lives and during that storm, one should try and you know and see how things are and. Uh, and try to get something good out of it. I have uh, so many friends of mine that have had this problem of miscarriage, yeah. losing a child and yeah. all that. 
but let me tell you i'm so happy that out of that you are something good something was born, was born. something that will always carry with you and i can tell you it is relaxing i've seen yeah. the client who we had to wake up here <laughs> So that means you're yeah. doing a great job. So how mm. long have you been in this? Uh, I opened this bar last year in July. Okay. Actually, we were supposed to open it in March last year, mm -hmm. but that's when Corona came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with German and paper. Paper you know, So we were this. allowed to open it in July last year. So I opened 11th of July last year. Wow. Let me say yeah, congratulations. Yeah. You also told us as we were going through the rooms that most of the artwork, the beautification that we yeah. see here, you did it alone. Yeah. Hey, that is yeah. also another side of you that you need to shake and see if you can be doing this. Let oh, me tell yeah. you, it's amazing. All these are your ideas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing and I know it feels good to be appreciated for the work yeah. once too. You Sorry. guys, I think um, you, we give a, a five minutes. Yeah, as of the painting, the decoration, thank you. I did everything alone. Wow. Yeah. Everything. In every room, even here, everything, everything. You did it alone. Everything. You know, uh, the energy that I can tell when I when when one comes here inside, yeah. my, one sees the passion over somebody. Mm. Let me tell you, it's just like when you enter a house, you can yeah. tell who stays there, who lives there, <laughs> yeah. and the person who lives here is full of life. Let me say oh, that. Thank you. Because thank you. it was it is so amazing. And when you told me that you did all that, yeah. I can tell you there's another side of you about decoration <laughs> that you also need to shake yourself and see. Because the combination, the choosing yeah. of colors, it is so, so amazing. Yeah, everything. So, uh, Nyar Masai, mm. there's a lady somewhere there outside yeah. who is feeling heartbroken, who is mm. feeling like, I cannot do it anymore. I don't have where to start. Mm -hmm. But here you are, after a difficult season, yeah. you rise again. And what I usually tell my people, you don't just need to sit there. Yeah. Rise up, shake sure. yourself. And see what is inside you because yeah. I always tell people it's not that I cannot decide I will not talk and I will not do my YouTube but it is a passion in you that yeah. you cannot hide it even mm. if you decide to sleep like I was sleeping now for almost six months now but you have that thing in you that keeps boiling and telling exactly. you this is you talk to that woman out there tell them there's something that one can do to follow mm. their dreams and the passion mm. and also they have to do it and do it better than the rest because you as talk Thank to somebody you. there my dear may i tell you people it doesn't matter if you are a woman or a guy just follow your dream follow your passion and i've realized that um no one can see what you have in your head no one can see your dream yeah you are the only person who can see your dream so if you True. have a passion you have a design in your heart just follow it just follow it. don't be scared you make the first steps and the rest will follow. God will guide you and you'll make it. Me, I never knew after two years of depression, I never used to go out that time. I mm. never used to eat. I was, that time I thought my life was finished, mm. to be honest. Yeah? Mm. I thought, uh, it is. yeah, any you are, you are done. Yeah? Mm. But after doing this therapy for six weeks, mm. and after that, my life changed. Mm. So I also tell people, if you've been given a chance to do a therapy, mm. do it. Yeah, do Because it. some people say, ah, therapy doesn't help. No. Mm. What helps me might not help you. It, yeah. might, matter, it might help another person. Exactly. Just give every, anything a try a or, or a chance mm -hmm. what uh, can assist you. But follow your heart, follow your dreams. Because I cannot see the dreams you have in your head. You cannot see the dreams it's I have my, mm. in my head. And there's a reason we have these dreams, you know. Mm. We've been given to them by God. So mm. follow them and then you'll see what happens. Uh, so you've told me the journey was not easy. How how was it until you can say now, this is my baby, it is here, I can be able to run it. How was the journey, you know, until you reached to have something good like this? Um, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all, yeah. Okay. And I must say that uh, I've realized when you start to do something good, when you start to focus on yourself, when mm -hmm. you start to focus on your life, mm. Strange things happen, especially around your circle, around your friends or family. Yeah, yeah okay. So that time when I started, uh, I did, like I told you before, I did everything alone. Mm. The shopping, the decoration and all that. And all this time, it's not that I didn't have friends. I had friends, I mm. have a sister and all that. But 
No one was there. No one was there. I did. They decided to yeah. to disappear just like everyone that. Everyone disappeared. And let me tell you, my sister, God is not. You know, God is not a human. Sometimes He sees what we cannot see, and He brings something. He removes them so that you can get focused on your dream. Because we have people that will keep pulling you down. Let me tell you, continue striving to your goal. Who knows, you'll have even the second and the third baby. Oh, <laughs> because I'm very sure there's somebody who is there who'd want to start something. Yeah. And let me tell you some. Don't fear even to hold somebody's hand mm -mm. to start something like this in another town or somewhere else. Because let me tell you, God can bless you one person so that the wave of African massage and people, do, you know, as we have the strength, yeah. we are very soothing people and very mm. welcoming. Yeah. So your clients are both men, yeah. women, you know, you've said also like daughter and mother, son, yes. and, uh, son and father. So your clients start from which age? Um, from late 20s. Late 20s. late 20s. So from 20 there, but you can have a 16 coming with the mother yeah, yeah, and uh, to also do the massage. Yeah. And um, so me, I know I'm in Koblenz. Karibu. So tell people exactly where they can find you. Christmas is around the corner. I want you to take this chance and I will do my best. But uh, by the, in the next three weeks, I'll start releasing this thing so that people can start buying good shine for you. My people, as you can see, she's having this beautiful good shine. If you're near Codblance, if you are in, is this NRV or where is this? Rhine and Falls. Rhine and Falls. I love NRV. I always, when I come this side, it is NRV. I don't know the other side. If I if I take my car and come this way, it is an okay. okay. <laughs> So so be, tell people where exactly are you so that they can come and promote you. Where are you? Okay, I'm in Koblenz, Rhineland Falls, okay. and I'll be happy to see my sisters or my brothers because me, and my clients are all Germans. They are all Germans. They are all Germans. I've only had two Africans and I don't know, maybe we don't like massage, we don't like to take care of ourselves or our body. Hey? I don't know why, but... Uh, our people, why are you forgetting this in the meantime? My all Germans, all, all Europeans. Hey, yeah. yeah. my people. Yeah. So, Nikki, I'll be happy to see you. I don't have anything against uh, my sister or my address. brothers. Give, um, give the address. In, um, Koblenz, mm -hmm. uh, Schlossstraße, 27 bis 29, near Forum. You can park in Forum or mm -hmm. you can park am Schloss. Mm -hmm. And um, my telephone number is there. You can call me if you need any help to mm. find your way. I'm here. Wow. Hey, that is not a good thing to hear that only the Germans and the Euro people coming. Where are you, my African people? You don't like this massage? Hey. We talked on another video, the me time, time ya kujipenda. Yeah. This Christmas, do something yourself. Do something for yourself, my dear. It is so sad that our sister is here and she doesn't see you people. Where are you? You don't know these things. That's why I'm bringing you these things so that you know they exist. Meona tante ya mekuja uku nakakuta. Iya meno. Na iyo niangu. Me, I've chosen what I'm coming from. And let me tell you. There are good things that you can experience here. The atmosphere is classic. The lady herself she has a heart that is full of a lot of warmth. You can imagine she massages a lady and the lady decides to sleep here instead of going to work. So she's doing an amazing, an amazing job. So let me take this chance from Tante Africa to say thank you. I wrote you through Facebook. Yeah. And uh, you've been doing great. You've always kept the communication. We've tried to fix this appointment until we got the chance to be here. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for joining Tante Africa family, for giving me this chance. I don't take it um, for granted. Yeah. And let me tell you, I will do my best. And I'm, I always say, whatever Tante touches, even if it doesn't, Bring fruit this season. Your season is coming. Amen. And God will do great things in your life. Amen. If you're there and you've always wanted and asked yourself, where can I start? Who can yeah. hold me hand? Where, which offices can I go and, and knock so that I can get papers to sit? I think this lady will assist you. Let me tell you, don't just sit there. Talk to people. 
talk to her. She's an amazing. If she gave Tatawake no their chance to be here today, I can assure you she's an amazing girl. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this chance. Oh, thank you for And we are done with our time. interview. Yeah, At I'm least you may relax. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Say bye-bye to our people. And thank you. Until next time.